Let's start with a little little talk about where you grew up. I was born at Diddley, Texas, uh, on November the 11th, 1927, and my mother passed away. She didn't make it, bless her heart. So Aura was raised by her eldest half-sister. But I called her mother and I called her husband daddy because I didn't know any different. And I loved them to death just like the real parents. Tell me how you ended up here in Irving. Was it one of your daughters? Yes, I've lived in Dallas all my life. And uh, one day I have a daughter that works for the city of Irving. And she said, Mother, I want you over in Irving where I can check on you. I said, okay. So you've got the nickname Speedy around here. So I think you probably get around pretty well. I go pretty fast on this electric scooter. They see me coming, they hear me coming down the hall. And uh, they know I'm coming, so everybody moves out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you decided to get involved in the Ms. Mature pageant this year. Okay, uh, I used to go to the Mature Ms. Mature pageant in a couple of years and I loved it. I mean, I just thought the women were great. So when I saw this notice that they were wanting contestants for the Mrs. Mature pageant, so I thought, you know, why not? Ora says that being part of the pageant had a few surprises. Then after I got over there and found out what all it involved, I thought, I don't have any talent, so what am I going to do? Well, Miss Davenport really helped me a whole lot. She told me, yeah, everybody's got talent. She says, I told her, okay, all I can do is put puzzles together. She said, that's great. So that's what I did. Working on puzzles, sometimes I get to the point to where I can't make one, it just doesn't really fit right here. Yeah. I just pick up my hammer and I just do it. <laughs> but her biggest surprise happened that night. So what was the most surprising thing for you uh, the evening of the pageant? Well, it shocked me, it really did. But I'm so appreciative of everybody that, that voted for me because the judges had to be the ones to make the decision. So I guess they knew what they wanted, so here's what they got. <laughs>